Now I know we've done two days of PowerPoint, but you know, they say things come in threes, so let's make it three. On the third day of PowerPoint, I would like to go over something called uh, ink or markup on a, a, a slide. Now, I see this all the time with my corporate clients. You'll go be sitting in a PowerPoint presentation, you're doing the presentation yourself, and inevitably, you know, someone gets up and goes, oh no, no, I'm talking about right here, what does this mean? Or, no, this product shouldn't look like this, Jenkins, you imbecile, blah, 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 blah. So, we want to utilize ink, okay? It, it stops this from happening, and it's, it's actually a lot more useful than a hand on a whiteboard or trying to get your shadow into the exact perfect area. So, within PowerPoint, if I play the show, and I'm playing the show, let's say, okay, ink, use it, yeah, we get the point. Here we've come to a, a, a picture, let's say. I'm using a picture as an example, but you could apply this to anything. Uh, proposed site for, you know, the new corporate uh, golf course. And now I want to do some markup. So if I right click on that slide, you have pointer options. Now you have a laser pointer, a pen, and a highlighter. Let me show you the laser pointer first. So the, really this just emphasizes your uh, cursor. And I can, you know, use the laser pointer to say, yes, the clubhouse will be located in this general area. If I actually want to take this further and actually draw, I go to pointer option, I could do a pen. And I could say, yes, the 18th hole will be located right here. A uh, nice long green and the tee box will be right there. Now, this that's my corporate voice, by the way. If I want a highlighter, we can go right click pointer options, choose highlighter. I can say, this is still just proposed. It's going to a vote very soon or whatever it might be. So there are these tools there that I can really use to talk about what's on the screen rather than it just being on the screen and having confused faces in my audience. I can use the pen. I can use the highlighter and we can even use that laser pointer. If I want to get rid of it, I can just right click, go down to pointer options and say erase all the ink on slide or I can actually use an eraser. Let's say I wanted to get rid of everything. That gets rid of it. Now I'm still on my highlighter. So if I wanted to advance the next slide by clicking and doing that type of thing, I would simply right click again, go down to pointer options. You can see highlighter is still selected. You just choose it again and that deactivates the ink features and you can move on with your presentation. So it's just such an underutilized thing in PowerPoint. I thought I'd mention it to you. I uh, try it out, use it next time. And it really, you know, keeps people's attention. You can really talk about specifics on a slide and emphasize your point.